So why are we watching Traumedy? I mean, this is trauma plus comedy, like Bo Burnham's Inside, for example. It's about his mental deterioration over the course of the pandemic while being inside and alone. Why is this funny? When I was researching the concept of why trauma and comedy seems to be going well together, I ran across a story about this guy's uncle. Basically, at his uncle's funeral, his wife, so his aunt, is looking at his uncle and she starts to laugh. And everybody is suddenly shocked by this woman starting to laugh. It's kind of this like, oh God, and she's trying to like get out of the funeral because she's laughing and doesn't want to ruin everyone else's grieving. <laughs> That's kind of a funny situation. And suddenly she's laughing harder at the insanity of how she's like, what's well, my husband who's dead, but I'm trying to make sure everyone else can grieve. And people run over to her to be like, are you okay? And they start kind of laughing because it's kind of a silly situation. And suddenly the laughter becomes a healing moment. Humans laugh in the face of trauma because it's a release of tension. It is a way to communicate that we're gonna be okay again. This leads me to the first reason why I think we watch Traumedy. I think it's because it makes the humor funnier. The emotion is connecting us more. Trauma is tension and a punchline releases it. Think about it from the perspective of like a hard earned success feels better than something just given to you. Trauma is like the challenge before the reward. Hannah Gatsby in her show Nanette talks about how humor is building tension. And then it's that release, that laugh. One of her jokes is about how she looks masculine and she was having a conversation with a girl and that girl's boyfriend gets super defensive and tries to fight her. He's like, oh, running in her face. Oh my God, oh, I thought you were a bloke. Sorry about that. Like his toxic masculinity working in her favor, right? Well, well, no, uh, she then goes on to say that was how she tells the joke. But the thing is, is that after that happened, the guy beat her. She was sent to the hospital for the injury she sustained from that experience. That's not funny anymore. That tension is back. And the thing is, that is honestly a nicer, more gentle way to talk about violence against women, to talk about violence against gay people than I've heard before. That leads me to the second thing. I think that traumedy is an easier way to talk about these painful experiences than how we normally experience these conversations. In my day-to-day -day life, I've had conversations about violence against women and violence against gay people, and I feel that tension and it doesn't ever get released. Daniel Sloss in X discusses on how he introduced one of his male friends to one of his female friends, and later that male friend raped that female friend. I've heard stories like that, and it's horrifying. And the thing is, in Daniel's story in Stand Up Special, he tells stories about how his female friend found humor in order to overcome this situation. That is a release of tension for us, that someone got past this. Because as us as the audience, we just sort of hear the facts. Man rapes women, man doesn't receive any real negative consequences. That sucks. Bo Burnham, in his song, Welcome to the Internet, one of the lines talks about the idea of how web feeds work where he says, learn a new way to strain your pasta. Also, here's a nine-year-old who died. Normally, in our experience, we have the mundane next to the terrifying. Scroll through Twitter and someone will be telling you something great and something horrible just within one beat of another. Traumedy, there's a plan. There's jokes about it. A set of discussion on the subject that isn't random, not algorithmically maintained to have you just engage in anger or pasta. Which leads me to the third reason of why I think we watch Traumedy is because it actually kind of gives us hope, a method to the madness that is this planet. Hannah Gadsby doing her goodbye to comedy is the point of Nanette. She's creating this work of art, showing that she's moving on from her trauma. Daniel Sloss in X is using this show to target men to make them hold themselves accountable as well as to hold their friends accountable. Bo Burnham at the end of Inside smiles to the camera. These traumedies are a reminder that humans suffer trauma, laugh about it, and then can move on. When we're shown the facts of a sad world, we just sort of see a dead end. When we see the same facts of a sad world in the context of traumedies, we see challenges, and those challenges are something we can work on. That's why I think we're watching this.